thing is how Team Veteran play this. They sack the Darks here. They Winter Wyvern and the Nyx Assassin are kind of showing here. Nyx Assassin being a bit of a traitor, having a Enigma sign. You should wait for Team Veteran to join the DPC and then have a uh, Veteran sign there, Calais. He is gonna get gone on and with that he'll know that the ward is in the vicinity. Pak will get stunned up. He has a uh, Iron Shell on the on the Nyx Assassin, but now we'll lose some mana there. He gets a rune, but Veteran will still be getting two of those. Viper trying to get one on the top lane, but Rap Rap is gonna be going down. Now the toss back, and he will be the follow up kill. So it's gonna be one for one, but still the first blood going into the hands of Veteran. Creeps the knight. Shafu dies on the top lane. A big mistake coming out from the Viper. Shoti falling low, but he will not be dying. And now Judy versus Kale. Who's gonna be winning this one? Kale, nice body blocks. A few more hits. He needs one more, and the Creeps will finish the job. Actually, it's gonna be Kale. Getting that one beautifully done. Two kills for Veteran and just a uh, Veteran on the top lane. We will never know how well it went given that your observer is uh, not doing that good of a job. Bottom lane, Kenji getting caught. The next Assassin wants to come in, but the stun will not be there in time. And they get the kill in the meanwhile. Tiny in the mid lane will die with Sakata getting the kill. Nice rotation from Judy just with the concussive shot. He'll get the kill. So we're gonna see two kills going the way of uh, Crocodile and Veteran losing two of those. And on the top lane, Shoti gets the kill on the Viper. He's aware of this, going for the Yasha. Oh, he's stopping the network chart, but AM is a timing based hero. Veteran, they don't have timing based heroes. Tiny getting gone on. The coil will connect. Think about breaking the coil. Will not go for it. Has the toss as well. Here comes Kale, who has the ulti. So coming from the side, getting silenced up. Maybe they can get a kill. But the ulti from the Winter Viper and the Viper might be going down. That's gonna be the case. But still, their Earth is already dead. And Kale might pay for his sins. A beautiful double silence. Mech keeping the Winter Viper alive. Nice mana void. And Sakata gets a double. There is a surge oh, in just a second on the dark scene. But he's gonna get silenced up. Stun from Rap Rap. Not gonna be there. But a hook shot. Catching two of them. And the Mystic Flare doing the damage. They're gonna go. With the wall, now the signs from the pack, and two of them caught inside of the cogs. Avatar's combo, Google, can he get the kill? Yes, he can. What a bloodbath between these two. Three hero heroes dead on each side. Sure, they got a pick off on the clock, but again, they lose a big hero. Shafu might be in some trouble. Has the four staff, will he get out? There's gonna be a toss back. They hit him, they missed the stun, and he gets to the side. Now the call onto the two in the back line. They see the Winter Viper, that's a perfect kill. If they can get it, where's your ulti? You won't be able to use it because he breaks the coil. A big mistake being made there. Now in the back lines, Rap Rap will get destroyed as well, and only two heroes are left. Kenji, no search, no way to get out of this one, but he has the anti mage illusion, which is really, really strong. Still, he'll get destroyed by the damage of Shafu and Gugu in some trouble as well, but he has more than enough HP to survive the last hits of AM. He will just poke him like a mos mosquito. So, this tournament, now they go for smoke. Kenji has the vacuum, has the wall. They're going in for Roche against the Ursa. If you take this one, it's gonna be a big deal. He's zoning them out, and he'll be able to do so. They get the Roche. That's gonna be a big hit into them. It doesn't matter that he dies. Immediately buys back. They wanna go for show to you as the BKB, Kale forces himself outside of the danger. They see the enemies. Hookshot is ready as well. Can he get on top of Gugu? Gugu trying to run away, which played breaking the blink dagger. And now the anti mage getting caught. He's actually gonna die the once. They do have the wall if they want to use it, but the waiting rift silence is gonna be there. Next assassin still alive. We'll have the we'll have the spike carry piece. The wall is there, but it's not gonna catch the anti mage. Now the dark Seer gets annihilated by the mystic flare. They're starting to clean up for herself. Uses the ulti, but what a winter's curse viper. Even with a the even with a uh, BKB is gonna be dying. There to the illusions. Okay, jumps on the tiny. He's not gonna be winning this man fight for sure. Does he have the ulti on the AM? Yes, he does. But the uh, tiny won't be taking that much damage. But guess who will? The bear will. He comes in to assist tiny and just dies. Why didn't you use the BKB, Gugu? Why did you abandon me? No mana. Can he kill? Okay. Okay, he's actually fighting him right now. Who's gonna win this one? Okay, what are you doing? He actually jumps out. The bait is there. And now the tiny will be going to the afterlife because Judy is here. One of the strongest heroes in the map is gonna be this position for Skyrath Mage, who is now level 18 and has a full Aghanim Scepter. Judy is level 18 as well as the puck is actually over leveling the mid laner. Sakata getting caught. He's gonna be in so much trouble. So much damage being done to him. One more hit and he will die but Sakata is still alive. Can he get out of this one? The wall will be there and now with the hookshot Sakata is still alive and now Gu has to use the BKB but it was very very late. Still taking a ton of damage. Kele he's gonna be dying before using his ulti. He will buy back immediately. BKB from the Viper keeping himself alive. Nyx Assassin burrowed in. He does have that uh, Aghanim Scepter making a lot of difference in the fight. 
that's chasing the puck. It doesn't have the iron shell on him, so the other damage isn't there for the next. Rap Rap is still chasing the rest of it. His team is coming in. He can get the stun with the follow up spike care base. Ah, uh, the Sans, what a mistake from the next assassin. He might not get it right now. Stun, follow up spike care base, get down, and yep, the puck is dead. Beautifully done by Veteran. They get there. Now, the rest of the team is coming in. Look at this. They're running through the star, but the Sky Red Mage comes in, and the Nyx is dead. Now, the vacuum only on Shao Fu and Kenji in so much trouble. He might use the Guardian Greaves, the toss back. They're trying to pull him out. He actually gives the search to the Ursa. Show the thinking about going in, but he with the hook shot is gonna go on the Tiny, who still has the BKB, uses it, but the four staff will be there on the clockwork, keeping him alive. Anti Mage finally joining the fight, but they have the Anti Mage illusion themselves. He already lost a ton of mana. Google going for a TP out. Kale has the ult and will use it on the Viper. Viper will be taking a ton of damage, and Kale is out. Is he really out of this one? He kills Zhao Fu. What a play, or more likely, what a mistake. Actually, what is he doing? Look at where Kenji. Jeez. Are they actually just gonna let this go like that? And now, Kelly yeah, comes in. That's the worst possible hero to run in first. What are you doing, Winter Viren? Trying to get out of that one. And they go into the back lines immediately. My back from the Winter Viren. Google turns around. They get the anti major illusion. This is gonna be good for sure. Nix Assassin hates the air on this. He's still fine. Trying to get rid of his mana. And they will kill him finally. But it took them a long time. AM does have the Aegis because they allowed them to get it. And now two buybacks on the support. But Zhao Fu is still chasing. Gersa has to go for the enrage. But Kelly, you cannot run from this one. Viper, or can you? He's trying to do so. Has the four staff. He's still alive. Zhao Fu is more than tanky enough to survive the tiniest damage. Now the next assassin, veterans high ground defense. It's just not that strong. Gugu getting gone on. He might get pushed back. It's not looking good for the tiny. They have the surge, but he's gonna use on himself. Now the ulti there on the winter viper. And that's a perfect kit. The AM did get punched there, but the one punch man wasn't strong enough. And the veteran, they lose two of their heroes. None of those have buybacks. And with that. Crocodile are going for the next or for the uh, first lane of Rax. The AM jumps in. Rap Rap goes for the spike air base, stunning the anti mage, stunning the puck in the back lines. There's gonna be the punch on the anti mage, creating the illusion. But the next assassin, they see him and they see him perfectly. Aeon Disc is not there this time around. Rap Rap will die. Ulti from the anti mage. Now Shoti fighting him, but he's just not strong enough. Goes for Zhao Fu, thinking he can win this one. But now in the end, he decides to move away. Uh, the uh, Skyrath mage died in the back line, I'm guessing, to Shoti. Yep, he killed Judy. Now anti mage in some trouble. They're gonna create his illusion. Going for the Viper using the BKB. Shaofu getting ripped apart. Punch into the anti mage. There's the illusion of his. Doing a ton of damage. Joe T still wants to fight by the AM. Coming in a second. Joe T wants to run away. He needs to run away. But he will not get his wish fulfilled. Okay, finishes him off. And now working towards the Raxes. I can hit you. I can hit the Raxes. It doesn't matter. In the end, the victor will be okay. Okay, four staff, maybe he can get the ulti on the puck. Sakata doesn't have the Lincoln Sphere, and he'll go down here easily. They'll get the four staff, he's still gonna die. No, the phase shift will be there, and the puck is alive. Sakata gets out of that one, the toss, it will finish him off. The gem is on the deck. Now, Nyx Assassin getting the stun on the anti mage. They need more heroes here. They definitely need the Dark Sphere, those punches, those, uh... Those walls, they need them to stop the anti mage. Next assassin is still alive. He does have the spike care piece. There's the vacuum, but he doesn't have the wall just yet. It's 13 seconds away from being there, and they're focusing on the throne. Okay, he's looking at the throne and he's finishing it off. They have the stuns, they have the spike care piece as well to keep okay in place. He's the only one doing physical damage, the punch in the face, but he's still alive and he wants to end this game. Will be successful in doing so, even if he's getting tossed out. Solid vessel in the earth spirit and solid vessel in the puck, not the best. Meanwhile, mid lane, Gugu getting gone on by the Void Spirit. This is a Void Spirit favorite matchup, we all know that. But uh, Sakata missing a ton of last hits there. Those two were free, and he just drops the ball a little bit. So, will not be happy with the outcome of the first two waves top lane. So, they go for the AA. Maybe they can get the kill. They don't have another stun, but it doesn't even matter. Zhao Fu gets. So. Gugu getting the uh, regen rune. Next assassin is still alive. He uses the spike carrot base and breaks the coil. It's gonna do solid damage to the puck. Sakata coming in as well. Wants the saving. Goes with the asshole step. But now the silence on the voice spirit has to be careful. The dissimilate is ready. He goes for it. Where is he gonna go? To the side. Asshole step. Rap Rap is still alive. And voice spirit, I'm not so sure about him. He wants to get a kill before he dies, but a kick to the face. And Gugu gets the finish with the with the orb. So it for the uh, Yule Scepter, the Aghanims be after that one. They know where Zhao Fu is, but missing the Ice Blast, I'm not sure that you can kill this guy. Dragonite getting himself to safety as the Blink Dagger. I think he sees the enemies. He's gonna turn into a dragon. He wants to fight here, but Kenji coming in. You better get out, Zhao Fu. You just could have blinked out and save yourself some uh, 
some HP points. He goes down. Nyx Assassin coming in. Has a spike carry pace. Turns around on the Viper. And the Sharpshooter should get the kill. Nicely done. The Buck not being able to get it in time. Spike carry pace on the Nyx Assassin. It's not there. But the Bushwhack connects on the AA. And this is a kill for sure. Coral Feet might connect. But he doesn't really care. He's going to stay there. Frozen. Looking at the Popsicle. Getting brought. Sure what item he's going to go for. And uh, now we'll be finding out. Nope. I guess the Butterfly could be okay. What's nah, Scotty. You need the Scotty. Oh, they found the Medusa. I have to go with the Stone Gaze. He's gonna be able to get it out. And now, not gonna be able, not gonna be breaking the coil. Actually, breaks it in the end. The roll from the Earth Spirit. He's gonna be stopped by the, uh, uh, by the Stone Gaze. And the Medusa goes down. The Snake doesn't give him any mana because it doesn't come back in time. Now the roll onto Xiao Fu. But in the back lines now, the Viper has been caught there with a Sharpshooter. The damage is insane, but they've already got a level kill. Viper is still alive, but not for long. Nix Assassin. He's gonna be going down. Sakata still alive. No more Alistair steps. He has deals on the puck. Where's the life slitter? He's coming from the side of Bushwhack. Onto two of them. The puck is dead. Rap Rap could be in some trouble as well. Does he have the Alistair steps? Sakata is still alive. Where's the Silence? He doesn't have any stones, but he has one there. Sakata trying to fight. He's gonna be going down. The Silence comes out. But not even needed, Judy. Juking around the trees, he's gonna get rolled upon it. This should be a full five man wipe. And Judy dying to the damage of the urn of shadows. Rap Rap finishing off the last hero from the side of Crocodile. And this Medusa farming for the entirety of the game just gets completely slapped around. The mid lane tower down is a dragon out. Now they catch the air spit. He's quite tanky. He does have the spirit vessel, but it seems like he'll be going down. The bushwhack does connect. Sharpshooter, where is it? It's gonna connect in his face. And he's dead. Stun on the Viper. But look at his voice, but getting caught. The Yules will not save you. Jaufu turns around to fight, but he's aware of his destiny. Maybe they can finish off the AA, and that's going to be the case. But they've lost two cores, only claiming the two supports, and they'll lose a support as well. The Acorn Shroud doing a lot of damage there. This uh, Hoodwink doing the job, but it's still not enough. Has the Blink Dagger trying to run away. Has another Scurry to go through the trees, and will be able to get himself to safety. But a Blink Dagger from the puck. There's a Blink on the Hoodwink as well, and Judy will be surviving that. Nether Toxin not affecting you, Google. Coming in, Yi, thinking about going there. Jafu has the Blink Dragon tail. Well, I'll be going. Oh, they go for the Void Sprint. Can they kill him? He gets up into the air, has the Astro Step, and Death Roll misses, but I don't know how. Still, he will use another Astro Step and gets himself to safety, but the chase is on. They really want this guy dead, and Kuku is there to finish him off. Where's your Yules? It's nowhere to be found, and his death will be swift. Now they go for the Hoodwing. She, the only thing she can do is beg for forgiveness. Don't kill me, please, but they have no mercy on the side of Veteran. They've had no mercy for the past 15 minutes because they've been killing everyone. On Medusa getting caught. That's gonna be another one. The spirit vessel is on him. He's gonna use the ulti, but a stone gaze will inevitably just expire. And that's gonna end up in the death of the Medusa. Another roll onto his face. He's trying to fight everyone. He is tanky, but not nearly tanky enough. And whether and get a kill. Now they wanna go for more. Nix Assassin blocking that roll. The uh DK getting out of that one, but he will pay with his life, just trying to save the only survivor to claim the Aegis, and they'll be able to do so. So much physical damage with the life stealer having the death, so Buck tanking a little bit for him, and Show T will be having that. He's ready. The Aegis is still there for a minute. 40 seconds life stealer. Now, this time around, he has the mana. They jump on the puck, will not be able to get him, but the air spirit runs into the ether remnant. Do they have dust? Where are your sentries? They do have them, and Rap Rap will be going down, or is he? He's actually surviving for quite a long time, but the bushwhack making sure he's there. Not going anywhere. Now they want to fight. In a 4 versus 5 scenario, Lifes are getting caught. The buyback from the Earth Spirit is coming in back into this fight. Void Spirit getting caught by the coil. He has the holes, but it's looking like he's going to be losing his life. Gets the uh, Resonant Pulse, and they actually killed the Life Slitter while he was inside of the coil, which means that there's no damage. But the Earth Spirit coming in with a beautiful double man silence. This time around, there's no more Stone Gate. And the Medusa cannot win this mad fight any longer. He's surrounded by 5 heroes. Jafu comes in, but what are you coming in for? Just to die. He kills Kale in the back lines. Roll connecting on the Dragonite. Can they get a kill? Beautiful silence there. Judy trying to go in to salvage this fight, but it's not gonna salvage anything because he will be going down as well. No chances of killing the puck, actually. That boomerang almost finishes him off, and he comes in with a mana burn and gets him down. He does have the blink there. Gets another. That's a triple kill for the next assassin, but he will inevitably fall because Shoti is there to finish him off. And in the end, it's gonna be a 5 for 3 favoring veteran. Actually, a 5 for 4. So right now isn't gonna be that easy. Going for the Aghanim Scepter and they finally get the tower down. That was the DD bottle. And <laughs> look at the damage. No glyph this time around. Veteran get a tower down easily without the rage. Veteran can't fight. Now, 
the sharpshooter does connect only on the earth spread though and it's gonna be okay with that they go in with a the stun they really want to fight this you're up against the dd beautiful stun from the next assassin medusa goes with the ulti but look at the damage being dished out by kenji medusa falling down quite low can she get into the cover in the back lines but the rap rap is there to stop her in her tracks and she will be going down without a buyback she drops the gem actually to zero spread now the coil onto the good wing breaking it immediately under the tier four still the puck is doing a ton of damage he trying to save him but look at the rage from the viper he will get the hoodwing there Xiaofu fighting, slowing down Kenji, but his damage is not, just not as strong. Sakana finally back in this game. Beautiful force that will get him away, but he finishing him off with the Vendetta. That's a level 23. Nyx Assassin show. He turns around, though, and this is the big beast. Where's your Medusa? Where's your carry? I'm still here. I'm still fighting. Even with your great stuns, you will not get the kill. Now, the Sharpshooter coming in. Both of the supports have bought back. Sakana finishing off the AA. Can he get the big ones? The Life Stealer and the Puck? Nope, they're out. They've TP'd out already, and Gugu completely safe they found the puck they get a yule on him can he get to the orb no he can't they remove the a on this gonna be in some trouble right now the Ether remnant is there he will not be able to blink out and google's looking pretty dead but he's actually fine now the ulti on the medusa she's taking a ton of damage doesn't have the chance to use the stone case now we'll use it but kanji's already doing a ton of damage and the dk in the back line already dead now okay he wants to fight he needs to fight but he will not be successful in winning the fight because these guys on the side of veteran they're way too strong you had your chance you had your part of the game when you were stronger but still now that's not the case anymore they go for kenji though beautifully played the snakes assassin is making all the plays the supports keeping the side of crocodile in the game beautiful usage of the spike care pc trying to get away uses the vendetta this time around nice jukes has the use goes for it will be able to blink out no a beautiful roll from rap rap and that spike care piece will not help you sakata kills kale in the back lines but his support dies as well Sakata, can you make anything happen? He's being chased down. He finds the gem, gets silenced up, has the old scepter. He needs to use it, but won't get a chance to do so. And Shoti, with just one swipe of his claws, finishes him off. And that's 90 seconds on the sidelines. But that's not the important one. The important one is the next assassin. One. Aegis, Cheese, Aghanim Shard, Big Black Dragon. This is not something that you want to be fighting against. They get the, rema the mana removed from this next from this uh, life story. They just killed the next assassin this time around. He's not going to be successful in just destroying everyone inside of this fight. Life Slayer again has the rage. He has the Aegis still. He can continue fighting as much as he wants without the next assassin. You're just not that strong. The supports were doing work up until now, but the one mistake from the next assassin, it seems like it will cost them a game. And we're going to game number three, guys. GG still hasn't been called, but you better do it right now because you're just going to be embarrassing yourself and being destroyed here by the side of veteran but these guys are not giving up what a sharpshooter shot on the lifestyle but he still manages to survive that one rap getting outside of that one and he'll be getting himself to safety the lifestyle gets handed the cheese so he'll be fine as well continuing to fight here that's two lanes of racks but it seems like crocodile is still not out of this one especially looking at the uh medusa respawn time oh they tried to get the puck but the nice eat of the tree there who had the uh who had the quelling blade not sure who the boomerang Connects on the Shoti. Now Sakata will connect as well. Nice silence. There's gonna be a follow-up silence as well. Can they get the stone gaze on him? Not really the slow on the Medusa will prevent her from chasing. And no matter how fast you are, the Viper Strike will slow you down enough. And now they're all where's your stone gaze? Now Medusa getting on top of her. Can they get a few hits? They're still rolling, trying to TP away. Really? Did you really try to do that? But the bushwhack not doing anything, and he is staying beneath the tree. He will get buried beneath it there. At least a nice little uh Tombstone was made to him by Hoodwing. Now the next Assassin and the DK are coming back to life. There's gonna be a DK for me immediately. A sharpshooter saw it. Almost kills Rap Rap. He gets himself back. But the uh the Hunter's Mark is still on him. A in some trouble. He's gonna be brought down. That's a buyback. A he won't be coming back anytime soon. Now the uh, Hoodwink in some trouble. But look at the Viper. What is he doing to him? He's ripping him apart. There's no buyback on him. But the two supports on the other side are dead as well. Now he goes in. Sakana really doing his best. They finish off the puck. He is a god in this game. He's just destroying everyone. And a double stun. No. He's just gonna be on Kenji. Shoti gets himself out. But Kenji isn't going anywhere. And Zhao Fu finishes him off with some flames. We all no snakes don't like fire they're 15k gold behind but doesn't have the agonim step dead right now Aegis she's still in their uh position rap rap does have that uh, agonim scepter enchant remnant but really doesn't have that many remnants of his own dragonite comes in with a stun but uh, that might cost him his life the hoodwink bushwhack won't be doing anything Xiaofu, what are you doing this life stealer is way too strong and he'll get deleted he just gets shattered to pieces there by the aa and uh 
That's a 4 versus 3 scenario right now, actually. A 6 versus 3, considering we have an Aegis, we have an Cheese, we are unkillable. Shoti looking to end this game. The only structure left is gonna be the throne. They get a stun on Deer Spirit in the back lines. The next assassin doing some work again, trying to do some shenanigans. Here comes the Bushwhack, the uh, Hoodwink doing solid amounts of damage, but just not, not enough. He got the Maelstrom in the end. Medusa getting gone on, losing her mana really fast. Here's it all. Where the four staffs? They don't have them. The Nyx is not in the vicinity. And Medusa, no more mana. That means that no more life will be there for her. And they'll finally call GGE coming in, continuing to impress in this game. These supports are amazing, but not amazing enough. They tried to carry their course, but they are not the ones that should be doing it. And that's why we're the lone. This will be a big deal, be quite interesting, but this series is definitely the most interesting one that we've seen. Judy, he places a ward, the Rap Rap has a ward of his own, coming in, he might place it there on the high ground, but he's running into so many heroes, might try to roll away, but will never get a chance to do so. He's getting to the side air, goes for the roll, and will survive, or will he? He uses the healing self, here comes G, he wants the kill, coming in as the line, healing Rap Rap, trying to get a kill, will there be a high ground miss? Not really, not a lot of luck for Rap Rap, and he goes down in the end, he did managed to roll out of that between the five heroes he was caught and in the end he still makes them work for it still it's gonna be a first blood and a salve being expect, uh, expended on the side of veteran a good start to the game for crocodile Kenji getting gone on Judy being super aggressive here but taking a ton of damage Judy are you really sure that you want to be doing this the stun will connect there onto the necrophos they want the kill coming in with another arctic burn now Kenji is falling down quite slow another dagger will come in a second but he's already super slowed with the orb of venom being there and the Kenji goes down two kills to start off the game now they go for the PA who can TP away if he wants to okay not going for it just yet he's actually fighting them right now if he goes for a TP right now without the healing self he might actually just die and not have a way back into the lane but another roll from Deer Sprit should still seal the deal here if he does hit it. Nice ankle break coming out from the PA and he will have to accept his destiny with the slows coming out. He'll turn around on Kalai, try to get a kill. Yi thinking about fighting but against two of them he knows that his life will be taken down. So they get the kill in the end. Get it looking that hot at this point. Zhao Fu is gonna get punched by uh, Kenji a little bit but... This Tide Hunter is not looking like he's gonna be going down. The uh, Winter Wyvern is behind him. He has the Winter's Curse, goes for it on the Necrophos. They're gonna use the Spectre Haunt, but just to do more damage to Kenji and the Fall Up Ravage. They'll kill Kenji immediately. Rap Rap might be the second one. They don't have the Reaper Sight anymore. They might get the Air Spirit as well with the Finger. That's gonna be a position four, killing a position four. And Gugu gonna go with the. Uh, Call just to stop the advance so that he can save his life. Gets the silence on the Dragonite. Will get himself over the cliff there. But Sakata, he's not done. He's still chasing the Blink Dagger. Still not there. And that's the luck. The Dragonite has the Blink Dagger. The Tide Hunter is coming in. No Ravage for 50 seconds. They jump in on the Necrophos. They have the stun on Judy. The uh, stun from Rap Rap. They're turning around on Sakata. He's still alive though. That Cold Embrace won't be helping you that much. It's going with the silence. But Sakata is still alive. Trying to shatter him. Will be able to do so. But they'll pay with their lives. Three heroes go down for just one Dragonite. Now smoke from Veteran. It seems like they smell blood. They want to go for more. They're rolling towards the top lane. The Earth Spirit has some other plans. Rap Rap wants okay dead. Okay is farming quite well with his battle fury, but he's losing life very, very fast. They go in for the uh PA slowing him down. He's gonna be able to jump to the side. Get onto Yi. Oh, what a silence there on Yi. And okay, we'll get caught by the A Blast. Going in for more. The Earth Spirit is doing so much work. Silence onto the Dragonite. He did get the stun up, but only onto the Earth Spirit. Maybe now they can kill the Winter Viren. There's no Ravage for 15 seconds. The perfect time to fight. The Spectre is still in the fray of it all. And here comes the Necrophos from the side. He's gonna be a big deal against the Dragonite who's getting his BKB delivered. Can he get the use of it? No, he can't. He'll get deleted immediately. And now the fight is on. Zhao Fu, he has to run away. Veteran are really overwhelming them in this fight. Even if he could use the Ravage, he shouldn't, but he does use it. Now they turn around. They use the finger on the puck. Gugu is still alive. They get a kill. You've used all your spells and you don't accomplish anything. This is a disaster for Crocodile. They were winning 1-0 in this series and now it's looking like they could be losing it all together. Veteran, a perfect fight going their way. They only lose their spirit. PA, BKB almost done. Okay, will be better battle ready as well. Rap Rap coming into the enemy triangle. He's alone. He's actually trying to go in. Wants to go alone. Onto the PA. Immediately stunned. Here comes the Spectral Hunt. Are they too deep? Judy will get destroyed, but he uses the 
Uh, the figure before he dies, the A blast will bring him down. Sakata taking a ton of damage. Not using the BKB yet. Now a nice rabbit actually just connects on the Spectre. Where's the help? Spectre is quite tanky, but now the bashes, the uh, crits from OK, they're not there. He's not having any luck, but the Winter's Curse. It's onto the Necrophos. He has the ulti in the back lines. Google will kill E, and they have the Reaper side. Can use it on the Tide Hunter if they want to. The PA getting destroyed. And again, they set up a fight with the Earth Spirit perfectly and win it convincingly. The poor Dragonite just running away with a 9. Without the dispersion, Choti is just not that strong. He's approaching level 22 though. He's the uh, strongest network hero and the strongest eight experience hero. Ravrak, what are you doing? You don't have the uh, the BKB. He's just going on Zhao Fu. I'm not sure if this is what they want to do. And the Haunt will come out. Earth Spirit getting stunned up. He'll just get the Nihilate with the Ravage being used. No, Earth Spirit is still alive. Nice usage of the Death Seeker there. Choti pushing aggressively. The Ravage was already used as well as the two BKBs. Maybe this could be a good fight for Veteran and it was smart that they were doing this, but Puck doesn't have any mana, so fighting for him right now is impossible. Kale trying to run away. The A is quite low. One crit from the PA will seal the deal. OK is really chasing this one. Can jump on Kenji and now he can do it on the A. And there's the crit that finishes him off. Kenji in some trouble as well. He has the A on this. Has the Ghost Shroud as well. Should be OK right now, but look at the damage. The triple kill for OK coming out. Veteran, what are you doing? Puck not having the mana there's some miscommunication coming from their son of minus armor going their way the tide hunter might even go for the uh, agonims no he's going for the daedalus wants to fight himself the uh who has been caught it's actually the specter he's making a ton of damage can they kill the specter with the ravage those they will come out doesn't have the buyback so now this is gonna be a big fight for the side of crocodile they want to start the cleanup and will Go for that one, but have to be very careful. Necrophos has his ult. He will go for the Dragonite, and the Dragonite will die. But a nice Winter Curse on the puck. He still has the A on this. They have the Nullifier. Gugu, that Nullifier won't be doing anything. Beautiful stun onto the two of them. A triple kill for OK. Kenji still doing the damage. He's one versus the world, but he's not going anywhere. They don't have the Nullifier, so that A on this will come into play. But still, PA will be fine. Kenji going for the TP out. Not going to be happening. So many stuns from the line. And again, it's go down. Making gold the difference. Veteran maybe could have pulled out of that one or even kept them in place there with the coil and made sure that the Necrophos can dish out the damage to finish out the fight their way. Our spirit getting caught. There's the silence. He uses the Nullifar, but too late. Beautiful blink for in the Winter Wyvern. You're not going anywhere, Rap Rap. But now they come in with the Spectre. They might have killed the Air Spirit, but they're too deep at this point. Now they're the ones on the aggressive and might, might be dying immediately. Okay, turns around. Still hasn't used his BKB, but he dies the one. Shao Fu. No, big, no uh, Ravage, but he has a BKB. No DP though. They go in with the Coil PA. Taking so much damage, gonna go in with the fan of nice. The Spectre not doing that much damage without the Desolate, but still it will expire and show T gets the kill. Now going for more. Xiao Fu in some trouble. No TP. He only has the BKB. Will he be able to outrun of all of these guys? It seems like the answer will be yes. They're still chasing though. Xiao Fu not the easiest kill, but veteran. They've been super aggressive in this game, and we rarely see them stop in their advances. That's the Aegis just being taken away. A lot of mistakes from both sides. Dragonite in some trouble. Has the blink out, has the BKB turn into a big black dragon, tries to go over the cliffs. We all know that this guy can fly over trees, trying to catch him. The Echo Saber slowing him down. The BKB will expire, but a beautiful stun from the line. That's a Ravage without the Ravage, and now a second Ravage coming in. Zhao Fu, stunning three of those Guru getting to the side. Shoti still going in. They forced out the Ravage from Zhao Fu. They got what they came for, or did they? Shoti still wants to go in. Zhao Fu in some trouble, taking a ton of damage from the Desolate. Again, a stun from the line, keeping them away. Gugu doesn't have the coil. He will not be able to stop Zhao Fu, but Genji will. He he will delete him outside from this game. And now Spectre getting gone on. Two buybacks will be there. The PA buys back as well. And with the fan of Knives, this Spectre is a goner. He actually wants to finish off Kenji first. Spectre going for the Manta. He turns around. He's thinking he can live through this. And he might actually be able to. Ooh, man, was that close. Okay. And this Sakata Dragonite in the end do have enough damage, but barely it was 0.2 seconds before the TP was finished. And it would have been a disaster for the side of Crocodile if they couldn't get the kill. Anchor Smash, that's gonna be a 1500 crit. These guys, they're not equipped to survive that. Puck going for the side, killing the line would be a great deal, but he has the antics, so he'll be surviving. Goes around with the uh, four step. Now the Ravage will connect. Will it be enough to save the line? He wants to use his spells. Will try to do so. Goes in with the mana drain, but gets brought down by the Spectre. Bash there, finishes off the kill. Now going for the PA. She will use the BKB. Jumps to the side. The coil will miss, but what a curse on the Puck. He does have the end disc. Where's the Nullifar? Okay, he's too scared to stay there and use it there. So it means that the Puck will survive. In the back lines, though, Sakata coming in. He still has the BKB. Doesn't have the Dragon 4. Uses the BKB. Turn around on the Necrophos. He has the end disc. And without 
down the nullifier. They can't get the kill. It turns around. BKB will be used by Jaffa. Look at the damage. He's slapping him across the face. Another anchor smash and he'll get the kill. Doesn't even need it. Now Sakana is gonna destroy these two and the tanky boys just annihilate everyone. They're too fat. Rap Rap comes in. Jaffa going for a TP out bash. Not gonna be there for Shoti. Sakana left alone though. Going for a TP out himself as well. But in the end, they'll have enough damage at least for the Dragonite. But the two fat boys just killing the Necrophos there and kind of salvaging the fight for that will uh, make him that much more dangerous. 100 second cooldown on the Reaper side and they go for a smoke. One fight right now can change the game completely. There's no buyback on the PA. He dies. A coil on the three of them. The Spectre comes in. There is no way on this. On the line. Can they finish off the kill? They're going on the Winter Viper. That's the first, first kill and the two supports are dead. What a fight. Now Sakana is some trouble as well. The OT Reaper side on the tight 160 seconds on the hind sidelines and 160 seconds of you looking at everyone dying as well as probably your base. After a fight like this, the PA trying to cut the wave. He's gonna be able to do so, just making sure that they can't go into their base, but they have so much time to defend their creeps and make sure PA... Oh, they called GG. I actually didn't see it. Team Veteran will claim the victory here. The PA... We see so much action between these two teams.